Welcome to Biomutant. Mercadorpus Outpost, a Jagni tribe stronghold. There's news of a Ronin joining the tribe. That much. Num to be una mumpo wives. Let's see. That's a gnote, easy prey for Looper Lupin. For everyone else, they're a perfect mount and easily tamed if they are kept fed. See some wood scrap there. It's the chug yard. What you do here matters to you and the world. Locked solid. The board mainly has posts from those that used to work at the chug yard back in the days gone. They don't make much sense these days. Not much more to say about the board, but Gizmo is holed up in the underyard here working on that mecton of his. The Toxanol Corporation used to run chugger chuggers out of here, big machines on rails with smokestacks that fouled the air. They can carry you anywhere you like. Well, anywhere that they go to, and then you can leg it from there. You're on the right track. Keep your eyes open. Tribes always scavenging for scrap, and the yard has plenty to go around. But they should have stuck to looting instead of playing around with sprockets.
Bomper Bonkers busy ram banging the door. This is your chance. Days are scarce. Don't waste them. Let's see. You can do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Wow, you really took that all the way down to the end. In flames. It's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. Guess they built machines better in the past.
The spent nuclear fuel that toxinol dumped in the surf had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. I need to... Oh, and he says he knows you. You used to call him Gizmo. He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. <laughs> that Git <laughs> He hopes you remember that one time he taught you to upcycle and hopes you've had some use for it over the years. <laughs> he understands history made Lupa Lupin a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. <laughs> you still... <laughs> he says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Gizmo encourages that. You should forgive, but never forget. It'll provide some comfort to your soul and keep the memory of lost loved ones in your heart. Fan that flame! Beat out that spark before it starts. <gasps> it was so young! So fragile, it has so much to give. Better to take it down now while you still can. Fire catches, eventually. Would like to know if you ever doubt the choices you made on the path that brought you to this point. Would you have been happier going in a different direction? <laughs> Figures you're either a rare person or a good liar. Maybe both. Hard to believe the world is actually going to survive. Just seemed impossible till now. Grateful to you for coming back and doing your best to change things. You were the only chance they had. Wonders if you liked working with the Myriad. They always seem so centered and so seeking. Figures everyone does. They seem unusually dedicated to finding them. But that's not important now. Gizmo he can't leave the Underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the Dead Zone. So you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the Mecton, starting with the old crate outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the Mecton strong enough to fight the Jumbo Puff. That's what he decided to call it after he saw it for the first time. It's big and fluffy, that's accurate enough. If you can see past the blue color, that is. They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. That's the leftover you're looking for. You don't get to wander below ground like this every day.
Watch out for drop-offs. They can surprise you down here. Make sure you know how to get back. He says that's enough to get the Mekton functional. You'll have an engine, a fuel soaker, a gun and a gathering net, but no armor, nor enough oxygen supply. Something he devised to salvage valuables from the ground. There are usually spots hidden beneath puddles of oily goo where you can use the net. The best way to find Squips is to go talk to Moog. He knows the ins and outs of every breathing thing left alive after the apocalypse. It's a little feisty and tough critter, a perfect fit for a live ammunition, if you ask him. 